Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be talking about Jade's kit. Do note that this is an early kit release and it's subjected to changes. Players should take this info with a grain of salt. For an overview, Jade follows the path of erudition and has the quantum element, ASIC, deals quantum DMG to a single target and adjacent targets. Skill, applies the nephrite effect to a single ally. At the start of Jade's own turn, nephrite's remaining duration decreases by one. Only one ally can have the nephrite effect. When the ally with nephrite attacks an enemy, Jade deals additional quantum DMG to the attack targets. If the ally with nephrite is not Jade, nephrite will also increase this ally's speed and will consume a percentage of this ally's max HP when nephrite is applied, draining to 1 HP if HP is insufficient. In auto combat, this skill will prioritize erudition path characters. Ultimate, deals quantum DMG to all enemies and gains a certain number of enhanced follow-up charges. When Jade performs a follow-up attack, if Jade has enhanced follow-up charges, she will consume one charge to make this attack deal extra DMG. Talent, when allies with nephrite attacks enemies, every enemy attack will provide Jade with a certain number of credits. When Jade uses basic ATK or ultimate, every enemy attack will provide Jade with one credit. These two effects can be triggered simultaneously. But every enemy can only trigger each of them once in every attack event. When Jade reaches a certain number of credits, she will consume this number of credits to unleash a follow-up attack. Dealing Quantum DMG to all enemy targets. For every enemy that appears on field, Jade will gain one stack of Jadeite, increasing her ATK. This effect persists even after the enemy is defeated or leaves. When Jade performs a follow-up attack, she will gain a certain number of stacks of Jadeite. The number of Jadeite stacks has an upper limit. Trace 1 When allies with Nephrite performs an attack, Jade will regenerate some energy. Trace 2 Upon entering battle, Jade's action is advanced by a certain amount. Trace 3 Every stack of Jadeite will also increase Jade's crit DMG. After any enemy is defeated by any entity, Jade's crit DMG will be increased. This effect has an upper limit. Technique. When Jade enters the overworld, will summon and following entity. This entity will inflict blind to nearby enemies. Blinded enemies cannot detect your team. Upon using this technique, Jade will shoot a bullet at an enemy. If the bullet hit an enemy with blind, will apply an effect to Jade and another effect to all enemies after entering battle. Jade Eidolons aren't out yet. I will upload it in the comment section if there are any updates. Now who is Jade good with? She works best as a single hyper carrier with another DPS unit. For her single hyper carry playstyle, she's best with support units that can benefit from speed for example Silverwolf which always attacks enemies though unsure of how much HP percent she takes where it may not be viable anymore. For her dual DPS team comp, you want units that can attack multiple times in one cycle. For example, Firefly and Blade or even Jinglio, though her best team comp may be with FUA units. Preferably with Topaz, Robin and Aventurin, or a mono quantum team comp. Overall, we still don't have any numbers but she's certainly an interesting unit where she's a 2 in 1 DPS unit whose archetype is based on providing buffs and dealing more damage with a secondary unit that has a ton of attacks. Where she's similar to Topaz archetype? Do let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below and if you are pulling for her. And that's it for this guide.